Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to cover about the course and course header. In my previous tutorial, I have explained that how we are going to create the registration page and how we are going to save the data into the database. So as a front end, I have used the Angular, which is running in the localhost 4200 port. And as a back end, I have used this Spring Boot application. And here I have added all the things over here if you all means already aware of it because I have taken this example for creating the login then registration then log means redirect to the dashboard page after do the successful login. So all the things I've covered using this example. Now we will talk about about the course and the course error. So we need to understand that course about the course actually and uh, also we need to understand that why we are getting this course error okay and like uh, also we need to understand the basic behind this security practice and one of the that is actually this course error basically one of the most common errors that everyone received while we are talking with some different domain when we first making our applications we often make one mistake that can send us in the wrong direction. A course error message shows up when we try to get a resources from a different domain. Let's if we talked about this is one domain, this is the Angular domain from where we are trying to access data to the Spring Boot backend application. So these two different domain actually if these are trying to access the data from each one of them then they will as these are the belongs to the different domain then we will receive that course error so we will also talk about that how we are going to fix this one before that let's talk about the what is course course is helps to ensure that only authorized domain can access sensitive data or resources and that web application are not vulnerable to cross-site scripting that is called the XSS attacks or other types of security vulnerabilities by allowing web developers to explicitly allow or block cross-origin request. So before course actually web page could only make the request to the same domain because in the same domain it will be allowed to do that. What are the course error? If we so talked about the course error like course error basically happen when one domain try to access data or request some data from the different domain let's say from this angular application we are trying to call the do login api or maybe do register api or the dashboard api okay so all the apis are defined over here now is this is a cross domain so if we are trying to access those then definitely we will receive the course error in the console because those are basically not allowed the reason behind it like it will basically not allow to get the data because it will be break the securities so if we need to data then from the back end we need to allow that particular domain that from which domain is coming which header is coming those need to we need to allow from the back end then actually basically these two domain will be allow the data to get the some resources from the back end so in this way you can fix like how to solve this course error so there are basically several ways to solve the course error depending on the case of the error and a specific requirement of the application so common approaches of this one like we need to allow the cross origin request on the server this is the like one of the options also we need to allow the domain of this one and then we also need to enable the course if we are going to using the spring security so i will talk about also this one like uh, the how we are going to solve this one how like this error basically we need to solve over there if we talked about the full form of it is it's a course origin resource sharing means if the domain are different for sharing the resources we need to enable the course so now like if we talked about that how we are going to solve this one 
so I will show you that how we are going to solve the course error before that let's try to understand that how we are receiving the course error so I've opened the console log so from here basically we are going to understand so this is the service like this is the angular service is running over here okay I have taken the example that currently I am going through one tutorial where I have covered the login registration then form validations all the things related to that I am I am covering all the points over there and over there if you see like if you notice that I am actually created one backend application and that actually created some APIs over here so I am accessing this API so then how actually this API is getting called over here so now actually if we do login over here let's say test and then we need to give the password so initially it should call this login API so if you see that while it's trying to call that do login API then it says that localhost 4200 has been blocked by course policy response to free flight request doesn't pass access control check no access origin provided so means we are receiving the course error over here if we go over in the network section here also it's showing us the course error okay means we are actually trying to access this api from some other domain means we need to allow this particular domain over here so that it's actually are able to particularly call this particular api successfully how we are going to doing that like how we are going to enable the course and other things for that like either we can use some this use this annotations like course origin or if we want to global define globally want to define the course uh, and uh, this one like how this configuration is working so for that we need to create one configurations we can enable by this one if we enable this one then it will allow to this login one okay so let's say try with this one in the console if you received if you noticed that we are receiving this 403 for forbidden actually means that particular domain it's not allowing to get the result now we have enabled the course origin over here in the controller layer now if we again like try to access this if you see now we will get different error means do login is basically success right now but now the dashboard is getting failed dashboard is why it is failed because after the login successfully then it will be basically redirect to the dashboard so i'll show you that why it is receiving this error but before that uh, like uh, uh, this is one options but if we want to enable it globally then we need to create one class over here so what will be the class we need to create one class let's say it's a web config okay and this will be the like uh, implement web mvc configure okay and it should be a configuration annotation okay if we implement this one then there is one method actually that we need to add we need to override this add this one okay this actually we need to method we need to override so here basically under this registry we need to add the mappings allow origins methods all those stuffs we need to add over here so like this add mapping then dot allow origin like here basically we need to pass that from where basically this is coming so here we need to defining this http localhost 4200 okay because from this origin we are receiving this one what method we need to allow like get put then post delete which header all the headers we are going to add over here like all the headers we are allowing over here and the final words allow credential true so if we add this this is called the globally allowing this course origin so if we also allow this one then again if we call the login api 
let me clear this console and also the network tab now let us try to call it again so if you see that do login is passed now but dashboard is getting failed okay means we have enabled the course actually enable the global course origin which is that's why actually that do login is basically passed but previously it's got failed right but now the thing is that the nested api which is basically called from the uh, this one like uh, if i show you from over here that login typescript file like after login is getting success then we are calling the dashboard api but this is getting failed okay also we need to solve this one how we are going to solve this one if like even if we try to like uh, call this particular dashboard api i mean suppose let's say you do login from the postman okay after login from the postman it will return one access token jwt token okay with this token basically if you call this dashboard api from the postman then it will allow to do the means you will get the successfully response but as it is here is a like separate domain actually like another domain actually cross domain is calling that's why is getting failed as we are using the spring security so that's why basically here we need to enable the course how you're going to enable the course because like as it is a cross domain kind of thing that's why you need to enable the course over here but if we are actually call this particular service as i mentioned from the postman then we are able to call dashboard api successfully so we need to enable the course over here how we are going to enable this one so here http dot here course is coming okay this course and here we need to pass the customizer means what was the default things over there that we need to defining over here customizer dot with defaults okay so it will basically allow the enable the course over here means it will then actually we are able to call the dashboard but if you are not using the like uh, it's being security then with this configuration it will allow the cross origin mapping or cross origin communication it is sufficient if we are not using the spring securities but if you're using the spring securities so here we need to enable the course so this is the thing that we need to enable over here now let's save this one after that if we call this one both apis like login as well as the dashboard both api should access fine from the angular side now let me clear over here also we can clear the console now try to again do the login now if you see that dashboard we are getting the successfully response here also it successfully redirected to the dashboard page and here the it is also coming the dashboard is works if we go to the network tab if we see the do login also we are getting the success and also from the dashboard we are receiving 200 response code in the response also we are receiving the success so in this way basically we can fix the course error so how we are going to that fix this one that we have defining over here it is very simple just one point like over here if we want to enable the course globally then we need to add this one or either other than this we can just add this course origin and rotation over here if you are using spring securities then we need to enable the course from over here so this is all about the how we are going to what is course why we are getting the course origin error how to solve the course error that three points we have covered in this tutorial if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye